Next news is out of Odisha, India. Odisha, man beheads 12-year-old nephew to appease deities for good harvest. Holy fuck. Chintamanti Maji, 48, was arrested for allegedly beheading his 12-year-old nephew in order to appease deities for a good crop harvest. He lured his nephew to a field in Nuapada's district, Jadamunda village, on Saturday. Maji later hacked him to death with a bill hook. He then was arrested. The police said that the accused has confessed to the crime. Maji said that has he sacrificed... Has. has. Has, okay. He did. He did confess to the crime. Uh, Maji said that he sacrificed his nephew as an offering for choru, a local term that refers to the sacrifice offered to deities for a bountiful harvest before the start of the new cropping season. Okay, Sobham, Sobham is in the live chat. He knows a lot. He knows more about this, so he uh, he says he has a few things to say about this. So please do, Sobham. Um, what what religion is this? Which deities are we talking about? Is this a Hindu god? Is this is this a Hindu thing? Um, I'm I'm pretty sure it is. I wanted to see if somebody could let let me know what this was, uh, because sometimes, uh, especially in smaller places around India, uh, it's not just Hindu, but it's also like uh, not witchcraft, but they they have like dark deities and things like that that they do sacrifice local people to. So I definitely don't want to say this is for sure Hinduism without a uh, subham. Yeah, we're waiting Letting for. Us know. I mean, I know it's in India, and Hinduism is the most common religion in India. But India is like has a ton of other religions. Some, some only local to India. So we don't know what religion. Okay, is. so Subham is saying that first, while it may be a tribal superstition, mm -hmm. uh, tribal superstitions are often integrated with Hinduism in many parts. I, I agree with that, but I mm -hmm. think that this one is actually more of a tribal uh, tradition, isn't that right? Like this isn't specifically Hinduism. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is a tribal religion that is not Hinduism. Like, yeah, like you said, India has a lot of. I mean, there's a new religion in India where they worship Trump, right? So, um, religion is just has just random religion all over. Sura oh, Soraya is here as well. Soraya is saying it mostly has a Hindu back. It mostly has Hindu backgrounds. Hindu okay. backgrounds, okay. So maybe it has some similarities or like really again, H Hinduism itself as a religion is a mix of whole a whole bunch of stuff. So it's really hard for you to just draw a line to say this is where Hinduism ends and an another another superstition begins. It's Absolutely, not, it's not as clear cut as like Islam, for example. I know that we have even disagreements with Islam and Christianity and Judaism. But the lines are easier to draw there than when it comes to Hinduism. Uh, Sopam is also saying sacrifice. Okay, Ali, you read this. Some of these words I can't read. Sa um, sacrifice or yad yajna. Yajna is one of the main. Yajna is one of the main tenets of Hinduism. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, yeah. By the way, we we look forward to the comments from Hindus or cultural hindu atheists to saying like no 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 sacrifice human sacrifice has nothing to do with hinduism every time by the way ali if you look at last week's news where we predicted people come uh, are going to come and say fake news about everything we commented every news we reported from india uh, sh they were there right there like they came <laughs> with, yeah they came with their excuses soraya is saying okay. it is oh soraya is saying it is hinduism Tri oh, okay Tribals, de, uh, tribals. I mean tribes. Tribes deny h human sacrifice. Oh, the tribals deny human sacrifice. They themselves are oppressed from upper ca caste people. So Soraya, uh, Soraya is saying this is Hinduism. Okay, okay. So 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 GV is also from India, I think. So GV is saying, oh, I was watching this amazing. Okay, no, no. So, Jeevi, what do you think about this? So Pam is saying Hindu atheists would distract people from thinking that this is Hinduism, but I know because I used to be a Hindu apologist as well, even while being an atheist. Okay, so so Pam, are you so both Saraya and So Pam, both of you are from India, are you both confirming that this is Hinduism? It's a sacrifice for their demons and Satan road ffm is saying i don't know road ffm what do you like i'm gonna rely on sopam and gv and soraya right now because i know they have good information uh gavin is saying i appreciate you guys oh i we appreciate you saying that um yeah. 
Oh, GV is saying I got nothing. Okay, so Palm, so Palm and Soraya, we're gonna. Uh, by the way, if people disagree with us on this, comment and uh, let us know in the description. By the way, this is this is something that we can never confirm uh, from here whether this was mental illness or religion or a mix of both, right? But we do know that we have cases for all of these three, and we, you know, there are. There are times where people that are not, do not have mental challenges, do commit horrific crimes because they were, con because they were convinced by their religion. I mean, it's very hard to get somebody, a parent, to sacrifice their own child. Like the amount of, on you know, emo the, the amount of natural emotions that you have to be up against could only be defeated by something as powerful as a religion to be able to, for you to behead your own child, right? Right. And this is how powerful religion is sometimes. Um, so I'm saying last year a nine-year-old was beheaded to appease a goddess Durga, who is a Hindu goddess. So uh, I actually believe we reported on that last year. Right. So see, this is... Yeah, so this might this might strengthen this case that this has something to do with Hinduism and Hindus Hinduism as a religion does have an influence on this. Like um it's hard to believe that this wouldn't happen if Hinduism was not preaching that human sacrifice could bring uh you know a good harvest. Like you have to Occam's razor suggests that the teaching of Hinduism has influenced this man's decision to kill his own child, right? That's a, or his nephew. Or here, his nephew. Yeah. His nephew or his child in that situation. Like this is, I know nothing is a 100% safe bet, but if you are against this position as a Hindu apologist, then you're, you, you have, you're, you're abandoning logic, I think. Like if that's, if you're going to deny that. You cannot... If you disagree with the statement that Hinduism has no impact on this man killing a 12-year-old child for harvest, then you are so certain, you have, have become so obsessed with defending Hinduism that you have completely abandoned logic. Right. Um, let me see. Uh, Soraya is saying, yes, sacrificial, uh, sacrificial gods of Hinduism. Sopam is saying, Hinduism requires sacrifice. Sacrifice, it is not common. Goat sacrifice is actually very common. However, hu human sacrifice is banned. Hindu cults have often committed human sacrifice. Um, okay, so see, there's a Hindu cult. So it is Hinduism. I don't know. Oh, Sopam retracted that. Sopam, can you clarify what you were trying to say? Um, and um, and why you retracted that message, Soraya is saying. But overall, if we see it as a as a, a devil's advocate, a point of view, we can say it is superstition, which is supported by Hinduism. All right. So the most basically what Soraya, so I think Soraya and Sopam are trying to find the best way to word this. They're trying to say like if you can if you cannot say that this is Hinduism, what you can say is that it's a superstition that comes out of Hinduism. You know, something like that. So Palm is Absolutely. saying there are many Hindu cults who have kidnapped children or lured them to places to use them as sacrifice to appease gods. Uh, so Palm is also saying Hinduism required. Oh, okay. So here's a new version of what So Palm is trying to say. So Palm is saying Hinduism requires sacrifice sacrifice it is not uncommon goat sacrifice is actually very common however human sacrifice is banned hindu cults have often committed human sacrifice so this is exactly what you said before so um so you're saying hinduism bans human sacrifice but you're at the same time saying these are hindu cults so it seems a little bit contradictory but again i know hinduism is a little bit more complicated so i'm saying i retracted it because i wanted to say uncommon okay sounds good so, if you, basically what I'm getting at, this is my interpretation, you can correct me if I'm wrong. If you go with what is associated with Hinduism on the mainstream level, mainstream level, and I know that's hard to say because Hinduism is not one thing. Hinduism is many things just mushed together. Um, but uh, what is accepted mostly as Hinduism mainstream, this, this practice is banned. 
But if you go by he- fringe groups, fringe cults branching out of Hinduism, then this is practiced. Is that the most accurate way of saying it? Please confirm in the live chat. Surah is saying yes. Uh, so palm is, tr- is true about the cults. Okay. Let's see. Gavin in Facebook is saying, I'm pretty sure that there have been studies done that show people who are conservative, aka entire religious, have a higher sensitivity to the fear receptors in their brain. I don't know what this has to do with what we're talking about, but okay. Let's see what the top comment is. Uh, Jeff is saying, respect religious freedom. I think Jeff is being... Uh, satirical here but based on what we're but based on the news Ryan is saying how was the harvest oh come on ping is saying the word is the world is so miserable because of religion 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 and religion no I don't agree with, ping, with you that ping I think religion is a, a major cause of misery but it's not the only only cause of misery I think as atheists and anti-religious activists, we have to be ca- careful not to over uh, um, overrepresent the role of religion. Religion is, has been, and always will be a source of misery. Uh, but there are also other sources of misery. Matthew is saying, but you have to respect religious customs. I think this is another, uh, you know, satire. Is that what I think? Sat- um, sh- is that the right way? Sis. Satirical. He's satirical. Being satirical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, Chris is here. Chris is in the Chris is in the live chat, but he also left a comment here on Facebook. Stories like this constantly remind me of why activism is so important. Educating people against ignorant beliefs is only the first step, and it's most often the most important one. Oh, very good comment, Chris. Um, let me see very what. Bad. Yeah, let me see. So I'm saying, no, I meant that human sacrifice is banned in India, but Hindu calls practice sacrifice. Okay, well, so you, you you mentioned Hinduism. So now so is clarifying. He didn't mean that it's banned by Hinduism. He mean he meant that it's banned in India. Again, completely different from what we said above. So again, another clarification. This is complicated. So it's not banned by Hinduism, but it's banned in India. Okay, India is a secular country. Um, that's being challenged right now, but it's still a secular country and we hope it remains secular even though right now it's going in the wrong direction. But okay, so Sopam, can you confirm? So, hin- there, so it's not banned by Hinduism, it's only banned by India as a country, correct? Um, all right, let me see anything else. I'm, I'm really glad that we have both Suraya and Sopam in the live chat because, you know, at some point, by the way, guys, at some point we're hoping that we have another, because I'm ex-Muslim, right? And Ali here, she's ex-Christian. Uh, and I think it would be great, Ali, if we have an ex-Hindu as a co-host at some uh, one day as a show. That would be amazing. Because a lot of people think that the third religion we should be focusing on is Judaism. But I think the third religion that we all should, Atheist Republic should be focusing on is mostly Hinduism. Because it's the third largest religion after Christianity and Islam. Um, so it would be great if we had an ex-Hindu co-host with us. Um, to do these shows every week. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. 
We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.